Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so it's time to start adding on to our Duna station. There is not much left of this Duna trip, but we do have our main Duna Habs. We have our, uh, let's see, the another addition to the station as well, which probably will be added soon. And we have our main ground base, which isn't going to take very much longer to get to the surface. And that will be the very end of this entire Duna colonization and everything else, but it, it, it's gone pretty well, that's all I gotta say. There really hasn't been very many hiccups or pretty much anything. It, it's been pretty awesome, so the one thing I gotta mention as well is that a few people have been requesting the, uh, wow, Space Run. Space Run will, more episodes for that will be coming out soon. I'm sorry that I've been you know, pretty lazy when it comes to uploading, along with just uploading, uh, you know, just one specific game for a while, and then I jump over to another game. I will try to space them out accordingly. Again, I, I just honestly haven't really been that committed to doing this stuff here and there. I, I, I really do apologize. I try to do it as much as I can, but... Once again, there are issues and, you know, whatever things happen, so mostly just me being lazy or whatever, but I, I will try to get some episodes out for you guys. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. I, I am not very... Yeah, yeah, this is looking really good, actually. I, I don't know. I, I had some downs. So yeah, we got two different hab pieces on here and this will add on the bulk of the area for our kerbals to just relax and kick up their feet and actually have some place to go inside the station other than pretty much nowhere you know it's kind of funny i i was i think i left a comment or I, my description of one of my videos was uh you know it's better to not be stuck inside of a station for two years straight. I, I kind of felt bad. It's actually kind of funny. I mean, I couldn't even imagine being trapped inside of a station for something like three or four years straight and not being able... You're basically stuck. I think they were just stuck in this, at, you know, and that was about it. So the other thing I gotta laugh about too, and somebody always points this out, and there's really, I, I have nothing against you for even saying this, I, I thought it was very funny, but the use of the word basically, and a, a lot of other words, uh, these keywords that I use during my videos, I really don't try to use like one specific word or you know, a mixture of words, I end up just kind of latching on to a word and constantly using it without trying, and it just goes to show that it's probably one of those words. There's probably about a good five or six of them that I constantly, I, on a very constant basis, always use, and I, I really, really don't try to. It just kind of happens. And, you know, if, if that uh, bothers you, I'm sorry, but, uh, well, at least for the person, I, I know that uh, they weren't really complaining about that specifically, but th th that's just where I was, uh, I just thought it was really funny, so, yeah, thanks for pointing that out, I, I will do my best in trying to uh, not use that word so much, or at least, uh, I don't know find other words in replacement. I'll hit up the thesaurus. But yeah, so it, it's been pretty good. It's, that's all I gotta say, is this base is coming along very nicely. I call everything base now nowadays, too. That's the other thing I, I really gotta stop doing. Let's see. Alright, we are getting fairly close to this, and we need to slow down a lot. Just gotta keep pushing this node over until we get fairly close. 
I think we may have passed it already, but that's just me. And... Yeah, we did pass it. Just by a little bit, though. That isn't that bad, because we can actually see the solar panels, at least. So that means we didn't get too far away. So, yeah. That's the other thing, too, is I've been trying to record at different times because that's another one of my issues that I've been having lately is just being able to record and and the time and it it's just been issues in the summer it's usually harder for me to do this because of the fact that everyone's outside and everyone's making noise and I don't really have a soundproof room or anything like that where I can just go in there and record until my eyes bleed so that that is the other thing too or my or my uh, voice gives out so that has been one of my major issues this summer and it usually it, it was my the last summer I was doing this too it really was I had to record either at stupid early in the morning or at I think somewhere around you know, 12, 11 o'clock at night, and it was really interfering with my life, but I was doing it then just to, just to really get myself out there that, you know, everyone knows that I'm making Kerbal videos and everything else, because even now I'm still not well known in the Kerbal community, but I'm not complaining about that. So there we go. Let's get it nice and close. I really hope... I think we're going to be able to uh, dock this guy up here really really easily. I, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm probably going to speed up most of it since uh, docking is somewhat boring to watch. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Anyways, I'll see you once everything is docked up. Everything's looking pretty good. And this station is 
relatively complete. There are a few things that need to be added. Once again, uh, that would be our next mission that we have to send to the Duna station, but it, that will be our actual last mission to this station as far as... It, it probably won't be the last time we see it, but it will be definitely the last time we add on to it, at least for a while, because this is all I got. Uh, well, this and the other one, that's what I should say, that's all I brought, but we will decouple here and I'm gonna find a place, I think I'll just end up putting it right here or someplace else, but I didn't really plan on having all these fuel tanks just kind of hanging off the side here. It, I gotta find another spot, I think I might end up putting them up here or someplace else, I really don't know. I This is the great problem when it comes to designing without thinking about adding on fuel tanks to your base. But I will say is I did leave myself a lot of storage and a lot of stuff everywhere as far as um, docking ports to where I can kind of just slap this thing on anywhere and it will fit. But, you know, I, I really do hope that we don't have any issues with anything else. Moving these things around will probably be the most painful and annoying part just to figure out exactly where and how I want them to be placed. Man, that thing is just flying away. So let's see if we can just kind of swing this thing around. Oh, that, that that's awesome. Yeah, buddy. See you later. That's the one major issue I've always had every single time. Oh, God. It's going right for that satellite dish. Oh, never mind. Let's see here. Oh, and we get the magnetism. I could attach it right there. That really isn't that bad of a spot for it. Let's see. And transfer over all the fuel. Perfect. That actually works. I, I, I might just leave it there. I'm probably going to find another spot for it uh, later on. Probably when I shoot the thumbnail for this video, I'll change it. Thumbnails! Always constantly making you change stuff. Yeah, I, I usually end up shooting my thumbnails, or at least finding a spot in my video where I think a thumbnail would be sufficient. But I, it really just depends on the video and everything else. That, that's all I can say. Let's see. All right, yeah, the fuel's out of there, fuel's out of there, and we got a little bit here, but I... Oh, nice. Yeah, get rid of that. And I think we're fairly stocked on RCS fuel. The only thing I think we can do is just dump this stuff over, and that will be all we need to transfer over. Perfect. And I don't think there's anything on our science portion. They really need to uh, actually create the interior for the science module. That way, it actually, you know, you can look out these little windows and everything else. I, I just think that'd be awesome. But we can take a look out of one of the Coppola modules, which is what I was going to do in one of my last episodes but we can do an IVA I don't know which one this yeah th this is the very bottom but that that looks freaking awesome I, I mean we all we need to do is move the station around but let's see if we can change and get to the other couple of there we go this one isn't facing the planet obviously so we can't really see anything that, that's pretty much all you can see and man that thing is just flying away but you know, whatever. It's 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 doing its thing. That, that's all I can say. It's doing its thing. So, anyways, guys, uh, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To you, new people, welcome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.